Oh, they have a total of towel. <laughs> So this is our beautiful view. If the, if the shrine was under construction, we'd be able to see it. Yeah, and then let's look at our beautiful view <laughs> from our bedroom, Schnuggle. Like you can get better feng shui. You just wake up in the uh, <laughs> the foot of the temple. Wow. Aha. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Hello! This is our gimbal. Oops. And this is our new Chanel bag. Let's go to the Totoro shop. They close soon. Yeah. Okay, let's go explore. That's the main street. Okay, should we go down that way first? <laughs> <laughs> We go to the Totoro shop now. <laughs> hey, the Totoro you are quick as the Totoro fan as I am, right? Uh, yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> Because he doesn't have to leave on the set. Look at all the other tutorials. And they have a tutorial with Shrine inside. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go. Uh, can anyone ask if you can film? Welcome back to my channel. As most of you know, we are still in lockdown and there's no end in sight yet. Um, so I thought, you know, because like shopping vlogs are of course like my favorite type of video. I love filming it for you guys. I love editing it. I love the whole process. And of course sharing all those beauties with you that I find on my little adventures. And yeah, as we're still stuck at home, I thought, hey, let me look through my Japan footage that I recorded exactly a year ago, um, once the world was still okay. So yeah, there's some unseen footage in here. I mean, most of you guys have not seen my Japan shopping vlogs anyway, because that was like the first shopping vlogs I've ever filmed and ever released on my YouTube channel, because I only started one year ago, exactly when I did these vlogs. And of course, yeah, they did not reach a lot of people. <laughs> so I hope you're gonna enjoy it and yeah. Yeah, and please forgive my filming style. I know it's a lot more shaky than we're used to now, <laughs> um, but that was kind of my first steps um, in terms of doing YouTube and in terms of filming shopping vlogs.
it's really worth going to Japan, especially to Tokyo because they have so many pre-loved and vintage shops. Um, and I will definitely throughout the next couple of videos that I'm gonna release, I'm definitely gonna tell you more details about where you should go, where the best places are. You know, I absolutely loved Amore Tokyo, which we're gonna see in a second. Um, I loved Cool Tokyo, which was the cutest shop I've ever seen. Yeah guys, so this is Amura, which was definitely one of my two favorite pre-love shops um, in Tokyo. Yeah guys, and here we are in handbag heaven. And I was speechless when I saw that. I really thought, oh my god, that's how Jeffrey Star and Jamie Chua must feel once they wake up every morning and you know walk into their walk-in wardrobe <laughs> and they see all those MS bags. Um, yeah, they had amazing exotic pieces as you can see. It was absolutely stunning. Yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Join our little handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same luxury disease. <laughs> and yeah guys, I see you again very very soon. Have a wonderful week. Bye!